I have been testing the step counter accuracy of this new Huawei Watch Fit 3 for the past few days. And generally, I'm just as satisfied with this watch as with the previous Watch Fit 2. So, test number one that I did yesterday. I walked 1000 steps and counted the steps manually in my head basically. And also I stopped from time to time uh, to try to fool it a bit and wiggle around. So it wasn't great. a straight one time walk, but I stopped frequently and stuff like that. So this new Fit 3 uh, recorded 1014 steps. Excellent result actually. And it's uh, like a 1% error basically, and that's pretty much nothing really, it's a fluke basically. Also, I wore Fit 2 on my hand, say, uh, on the same hand basically, and it recorded uh, a bit more steps. However, really, it's maybe a fluke, as I was wearing one watch on this part of the hand, while other on this one. So, maybe the movement was a bit different, but really, they are the same. So let's talk about how this Huawei Watch Fit 3 actually compares to much more expensive devices such as Apple Watch, uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch and even like uh, five times more expensive Garmin watches. So actually Huawei Watch is number one and it completely beats out pretty much everything. It only it's just as good really as Samsung. And this is a mix and test result and uh, not uh, this test basically where I basically uh, like this is a very easy test where you basically go walk in a straight line and uh, don't really do anything else at the same time but a mixer test is way different in the mixer test you actually do something else while you're also, also walking for example maybe you are like uh, washing dishes washing brushing your teeth uh, <laughs> whatever really maybe doing some household chores at the same time and basically maybe like walking from one room to another room maybe going to your fridge to your uh, couch or whatever really in very short bursts basically and your arm moves around a lot and there are a lot of false positives and the Huawei really it nails it as and these are basically the results it's just as good as Samsung Galaxy watches generation 4 and up as the previous Galaxy watches wasn't that good but basically Galaxy Watch 4 and up is extremely good. So it really is number one basically along with Samsung. So excellent. So also it's much better than Apple because for example Apple undercounts these uh, in mixed tests. So it really, really tries to cut out any junk steps but also it ends up cutting out a lot of valid steps. Then for example Fitbit it's absolutely crazy and overcounts like crazy. It can't cut out the like movements and it counts less like wallet steps basically then what else we got garmin garmin is absolutely terrible it cuts out a lot of wallet steps basically so yeah even if this watch costs five times more it's more terrible than this watch basically by the way uh, i tested also the huawei band 9 recently in my tests and it didn't have had this result it overcounted by around uh, almost 10% so it doesn't have this good result only this Huawei watch fit series and also the GT series are good at step counting the bands uh, like the cheaper and stuff they seem to have like different algorithms for the stuff maybe different sensors I don't really know but I got different results for those bands this watch fit series are really the best step counters in the market from all I have tested Anyway, easy for helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos about this Fit3, then make sure to subscribe because I have plenty more coming. See you!